Christ the King Novena. Day 4. Let us pray this Novena to Christ, the King of the Universe, acknowledging His kingship and supremacy and asking for all our intentions. I invite you to join us with faith. Subscribe and leave your intentions in the comment. God bless you. We begin the Novena to Christ the King, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please state your intentions for this Novena. Let us meditate on this scripture announcing Christ as King, that he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead, and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. We pray. O Lord our God, you alone are the most holy King and ruler of all nations. We pray to you, Lord, in the great expectation of receiving from you, O Divine King, mercy, peace, justice and all good things. Protect, O Lord our King, our families and the land of our birth. Guard us, we pray, most faithful one. Protect us from our enemies and from your just judgment. Forgive us, O Sovereign King, our sins against you. Jesus, you are the King of mercy. We have deserved your just judgment. Have mercy on us, Lord, and forgive us. We trust in your great mercy, O most awe-inspiring King. We bow before you and pray. May your reign, your kingdom, be recognized on earth. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, our Sovereign King, the beginning and end of all things, you have made your church to be a people that bears witness to the goodness and beauty of your kingdom. By your Holy Spirit, you have united us as one body, called to live as one family of God. Fill our hearts with your grace, that we would be close to you. By being close to the vulnerable and marginalized, give us the patience to share one another's burdens, and give us the courage to always be friends of the truth. May we remain with you always. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.